service. I know we're having a good time, but let's get it started. It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm L'Oreal. I'm Tara Wallace. <laughs> I'm Algie Smith. Yes, Algie Smith is our guest and Tara is our guest host. Yeah. Hey. And you know Tara, of course, I know you probably hate this, but we know Tara from Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's all right. It's all right. It could be worse. <laughs> Come on, yeah, for sure. That's how we know L'Oreal also, by the way. Right. No. <laughs> that's not. I, I that, was my, that was my day job. Mm-hmm. Y'all Love know Lip Service. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a hustle. <laughs> Feel me? First show I've ever been on lip service. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Al G. Smith, we know you, of course, from Detroit, mm-hmm. from the new edition movie as Ralph mm-hmm. Tresvant, and now from The Hate You Give. Yeah. For sure. And from dying in every movie and from being able to hold Damn your breath. <laughs> Damn near. <laughs> Damn, they always oh, kill us. Like, they're still alive. Yo, yo, they let me live in Detroit, though, but the homie died, but I was close to death. Yeah, yeah, you, all, you all over the shootings. And- y'all miss it. She tried to sneak in that little inside and holding your breath. <laughs> holding morning, your breath. Yeah. No, on the Breakfast Club, he did say that he is capable of holding his breath for long periods of time, so... If you want to get <laughs> so, so in seconds, what does that equal to? Did you ever count? Uh, no, I've never counted. See, you, I mean, shit. A couple minutes. I mean, <laughs> this is what I told him earlier. It depends on what type of holding breath we talking about. You feel me? <laughs> if you're underwater eating pussy, how long? <laughs> shit, shit, nigga gonna be under there scuba diving <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> Cause you know we were talking about you, and I was I was telling him that it seems like a, a great situation that you can hold your breath so before you got here we were talking about why that's good and having sex in the shower and things of that nature <laughs> with the heat or yeah you know, or sex in the pool and holding your breath and being able to like do things like that with the water wait have you ever tried to eat someone out underwater no nah, hell no i ain't trying or anything that. in the water <laughs> no y'all are crazy i'm trying high. to figure it out <laughs> <laughs> nigga, like, not in the movie they low-key in high school it. like you've never finger popped a girl in the pool I've never ate a girl out in the pool. That's that's, that's, different. Popped a girl. Yeah, that's yeah. different. That's different. Like, I'm putting my whole like well, that's but my you respiratory start, you, system you can, underwater. You can start someplace and then and right. then go, yeah, and, and yeah, step sure. it up a notch. Right. Level. And now and now we know you can hold your breath for like 60 seconds. Hey, no, I can go longer than that. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, right. Right. you can do it. You should try. You can come up for air. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be pride. The porn version. Like you're not holding your breath if you're doing that. Like you letting breath. You letting water in. Now you got to just hold. Like you have to hold it. Right. You a singer? You yeah, gotta cut singer. your throat, off, right our throat <laughs> off. But what about in the shower? You never did that in the shower? Uh, yeah, that's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's not the same as a pool, though. You, never like, you can get away from the water. You can turn the shower head around, like. I'll oh, so you turn this and now I'm cold. Yeah, it's cold when you, just, you can't turn the shower. In a nice, a toasty shower. Now you turn the shower away. It's freezing. <laughs> it's heated in his uh, in his bathroom. That must be what it is. And then we started That's talking about heat. taking showers with your significant other. And mm-hmm. guess which one of us has never done that? If you had to guess, for the three, me, Tyra, or L'Oreal. What? Uh, Why do I stick out like a sore thumb? Is it my right though? Yes. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, Damn. That boy good. <laughs> How'd you know it was I her? What indicated? Yeah, what? I just saw it in the eye. As soon as you said it, her eyes gave it away. She looked away when, when you said it. No, I, no, I, you know what? I tried to trick you and look at her like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> like, I, I was trying to trick you. It didn't work. Oh, damn. Never? No. Damn. I guess that's, uh, I'm going to work on it tomorrow though. Yeah, oh, we tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, she oh, on it. Oh. Take that advice and run quick. <laughs> she said, I'm going to try that shit tonight. <laughs> See, the problem is this, right? Sometimes our hair is done and we don't oh, want to yeah, be like facts. not cute in the shower. So it's hard to take a shower with your man with a but shower. But niggas ain't worrying about that though. Niggas, if you're in the shower doing that, niggas not worried. Oh, no, she don't look cute enough right now. Yo, you know what time it is. You're in the shower. Like. But it feel corny to have on a shower cap when you're in the shower with your man. Look, your hair's nice. <laughs> when you're with a lady, do you wear a shower cap? <laughs> Why is your First of all, my shower cap is looks like a rubber duck. It's yellow and it has a duck head on top. It has a duck head on your shower yeah. cap. So imagine me trying to be sexy with my rubber duck nah, shower cap. <laughs> I don't even have a shower you, cap. Me either, I'm not gonna lie. No, but don't. I don't have a shower I cap. Have I use my my uh, bonnet. Use your bonnet. I use your bonnet. My, my, uh, use your bonnet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's mad. My bandana. Oh, you use your bonnet. Do you use a bonnet when you go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Your hair is sitting right. nice. I know. <laughs> it's kind of weird right now. But, but now, nah, what you use? Like, I gotta use You gotta it. use just something. Do-rag. That's it. A, a do rag. Okay. Nah, yeah. do rag low key probably work better than a bonnet. That'd be hard on y'all. Just throw the do rag on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you feel me? Wrap it up. Stick it up. Will nah, my hair fit I'm... in a do rag? 
Yeah, not. But not, but uh, in top. my head, you'd want to look <laughs> as cute no, as will, possible. Will. I don't think we look It'll cute with a do rag. Nah, do rag. Nah, might if we talking about the cuteness, then nah, don't do the do rag. Yeah, <laughs> do rag. It is like you've been in a relationship for a long time. You gonna look like a whole nigga. Imagine us in in the shower with a do rag on, no makeup, no jewelry. He gonna feel like he in jail. Come here, Algie, hold your breath. Melt it off. Yo, come here, my nigga. Come here, come here. <laughs> Have you ever taken a girl home and she looked completely different than she did when you met her? Like she take off her wig, take off her makeup, take off her um, push up bra, take off her nah, waist not trainer. All that. Not a, I'm fortunate enough to have not been in that <laughs> situation. Like that's a lot. You ain't even the same person. Like what? It's like I'm gonna get you sucker. Remember that? Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the bitch nah. took her leg off, oh, yeah. all kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, no, nah, I ain't not that bad. No, nah. I mean, you definitely got the lashes. You got regular things. You feel me? Like lashes, wig, not no booty buster or no <laughs> booty pop. What's booty them things booster. they had back in? the day the uh the booty pops was that what it was called I don't know well, it's like a padded the girdle yeah, back the in the day they were called a, yeah. a girdle it's man. like they was really they was really wearing them shits out like yeah. what <laughs> that's cheap that's not right bro like, I want to know yeah. like what about wig like a girl has ever that's, has that's she ever right. take her wig off like yeah. hold on for real I mean as long as it ain't busted under there I'm straight it's it's always semi busted under a wig. <laughs> Me always. Too. I would think it's gonna it be busted. Always hey, not always, but you mind them cute cornrows. I mean, it depends on what your definition. Okay. Yeah, you okay. feel me? You got a four to the back. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good. I, I see. I don't have like a. I, even though I have cornrows, it's not like a cute head with cornrows. You just did them real it's, quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Even if I do, I just don't feel like I have the head shape. For that. <laughs> hey, if a nigga is like. If a nigga is turned off by you taking off your wig, and it just, it's just as long as it don't look crazy in there. I don't think, in my experience, I ain't never been like, oh, no, nah, I got to go. Like, what like, if her hairline is mad far back? <laughs> No, no edges. That that is there a time limit? You know what I mean. Oh, no. like you <laughs> yeah, you, you can can't just go off. there and take your take wig. Your wig off. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. If I got a wig on, I'm not having sex. Like we not having sex tonight. You gonna wait till what? I get a stone? Fuck spontaneity. Having, that's, I know, right? <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, just put a do rag hey, on over your wig. Don't touch my hair. We can do everything. Touch my hair. Yeah, she's in the And I don't mean to be that kind of girl, but like, no, that's boring though. Don't touch my hair. Nah, we fucking. We gonna fuck. Or you just gotta ride. Okay. Yeah, See? Christ. But, but just you just not gonna you do it. Sometimes we get carried away when we have sex. We meaning people. You be like, this is the only <laughs> position <laughs> I can do. <laughs> like, yeah, let's just stay right here. Don't touch nothing else. That's not fun nah, yeah, to me. Not, like, yeah, I can't have sex. Right. I just, like, this whole day is making me want to go home and evaluate my life. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. No, I she it. said, the shower. Take your wig off right. and find you. All these things I haven't done. Now I get it. Now I get it. What about for guys? Like, guys have like little tricks too, right? Like, they wear certain clothes and my cup up what their body looks like sometimes they take their hat off and they look yeah. like they call that hat fishing yeah I ain't there yet I got years before I get there That's yeah your crazy. hairline's good yeah but you when even it got start the baby receding, ears. I'm cutting it off straight up once my joints start growing back it's over with you got a good shaped head too yeah you're good like, I don't know about when I cut it all off though my shit might look weird as hell <laughs> you have a little a little bald head it's gonna be funny <laughs> I was gonna say something else it's but. like a whole, like, a whole it's different it's like, like, like a little it's pea head like a little <laughs> Right. You said he got a little pee head? Yeah, he will. Well, he don't got them braids on him. Like a little uh, pee. Uh, He's fronting the top. Nah, I don't. If if a dude got to go through all that, niggas is out here tripping. You got you wearing extra clothes and make you look a certain way. Like, I mean, I get it. You wear clothes to look good, but if you wearing a shirt to cover up your stomach then you just, you're acting <laughs> no, like a woman. But, but you know like the real things kick in like when men hit 40 you know even yeah. if they've worked out or even if they've been in shape all their life or naturally thin at 40 the first thing that sets in on a man is the waistline just goes out mm. So. She's, she's like, and I'm speaking from experience. I don't know if you know who I dated. I'm like, and I'm talking about you, yeah. Peter. You start calling out nigga names. No. No, Peter no. Tums. No. <laughs> I think you're talking about him. He was like super skinny, and then he started working out. And then he just got buffed, and then I'm like, oh, I like him all over again. But then it was too late. Oh. It's too late. Oh. He had already bounced. Oh. The shower. Oh. All the shower stuff I wasn't doing. Oh. No, but see, there goes Jeez. one thing. What? He's hiding behind muscles, guys. Hide behind like their muscles, mm, right. chains, mm-hmm. cars. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, once they get out the car, period, you yeah, know, sure. watch. I think that's a guy's like 
way to make himself look better. Like women got the wigs and the makeup and stuff like that, but that's a guy. Men no, have you're the right. Like stereo stuff and yeah. yeah. Nice. And then guys always say, Oh, I don't want a girl who wants me just for my money, but then they always floss in the fact that they, that have they got these money. Things. Right, right. They do want to go. I'll just be like, you know, I'll play Ralph Trez Van. <laughs> and, no, you know, I've never said that. I've never that's one thing I can say. I've never like who approached like. a girl and been like, yo, I've done this or I've done that. I don't ever feel comfortable doing that. What shit. if a girl asks you, like, just say she meets you, she doesn't know who you are, and she's like, "So, what do you do?" Uh, it just depends. Sometimes I might be like, uh, "I just work in entertainment," or and then they're like, "Okay, let's what? have let's have a fake conversation." So, right, what do you on. do? Uh, I work in entertainment. In production? Yeah, in production. You okay. Know, behind the scenes. Anything we know of that you've worked on? Uh, I don't know. if You might know of it, but you know. Well, you know, my uncle works in the business, and maybe oh, yeah. you know him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was your uncle? Um. Quincy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quincy. <laughs> Look it up. No, it's like, because a lot of him? times that comes with a lot of, like, if I just come out and be like, yo, I'm an actor, a singer, it already puts something in somebody's brain. I don't like to do that. I like to just keep it at bay until we know. And maybe we like some conversation in a couple of days in or something. Then I might be like, yo, you by know, the way, so I do But do you feel like the girl has changed once you said that? Uh, depends. Some of them do, yeah, for okay. sure. Some of them think it. I mean, it just how many on the are there? Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying if we just have a conversation, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, wow, yeah, it's a lot. Yo, it's a lot. Yo, a lot. The rest of the hoes know what it is. So you know, <laughs> about thirty of them, but <laughs> you know, sixty. Yeah. You know? <laughs> nah, it just depends. Like it depends. It depends on the girl for sure, but it it can change, and it's like it changes for the better or for the worse. Like mm-hmm. so, it can change in the fact that you be like where she's like, okay. Well then, I'm gonna move this way and not just give him to think I'm just about his bread. Or some of them always be like, "Okay, well, shit, this nigga got the bread. So yeah. what's up?" What do you What's prefer, the, the direct approach or the let me not let him think that? Right. Uh, yeah. the direct approach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you know, I got bills to pay, and I know you got it. Yeah, because then that let me know. Because <laughs> look, I feel like all women have motives. Whether Damn. everybody got motives, pretty much. No, check this out. Everybody has a motive. <laughs> he just came crazy. Straight up, straight up. Whether you like, know it or not, got you feel me? whether All you know it or not, nah. <laughs> whether you know it or not, the guys. So I'd rather just know up front what we doing. But do we all have motives, ladies? Tara, Maria, it don't gotta my, be bad listen, though. I, I've I've been in the industry for a while. My student loans have only changed by what I've paid off every month. <laughs> and I, I don't even know how to, how to have the conversation. <laughs> but I guess a motive could be like to have a child as well. Right? Or get married. Yeah, or get to be, married. No one okay. wants to be with no you, broke nigga, but when right? You, yeah. But so when you've like, had children, you know that can't be it because you know what it takes. It's so much more right. than just. You know, that sounds uh, good in theory, but once mm. you've had children and you know what it really takes and money is such a small part of it. It's a big right, part of yeah. it, but the, the day in and day out, yeah, exactly. money is very small in the scheme I like of it Compared to the emotional, yeah, yeah. sure, gotcha. But I do feel like you do everything because of a motive. Like you want to yeah. be, even if it's to be successful yep. or whatever. Well, you what's your motive, this though, person though? No, I, I just, just feel like a motive, motive sounds motive. like a negative yeah, word. Yeah, sound, I think that's, that's why. Right. Yeah, it did sound yeah. Like Think of Kelly Rowland motivation instead. <laughs> <laughs> now that's some sex shit. Yeah, yeah, okay, now you flipped it. So if we had to say, okay, ladies, what's your motive, L'Oreal? In life? You, when you meet a guy. Oh. If you um, had to say... In a non-negative way, what's mm. your motive? Oh, well, first off the bat would be like to get to know him and see like what kind of person he is. Like mm-hmm. how people treat him, like how he treats himself. Mm-hmm. Like that would be my my initial motive is to just like get to know the person mm-hmm. a little better. Mm-hmm. Okay. For sure. But is there like a end or like this is what I want in a man? Right I mean, now? it depends on the person. Like if it's, yeah, like if it's somebody that has everything that I want, then yeah, maybe my motive will be to make that person my husband. Oh, shit. Okay, See, that's what I'm saying. Let's get to it. it. Depend on the person. Let's get yeah, to it. Triggers. What's but your motive now, Tara? Mother, nigga, you might get a bag. <laughs> no, I'm Straight joking. Up. Hey, look. <laughs> hey, I don't get a bag. Yeah. My, my first motive is to find out who the person really is. Because mm-hmm. once you you have children and you realize that people hide behind uh, the lie for so, long, for so long it is it is to try to break that wall down I have to know who the person is Tara you I must really be like so him. jaded from your last relationship I'm so jaded like I, I really am <laughs> and, and it's so important for me to really like the person and start asking the serious questions like not the on the surface I want to know I want to know the stuff that you don't want anyone to know yeah, who you really up. are. Mm-hmm. But how do you That's tell someone? That's a good way of filtering. I just, I just say mean? it flat out, and and um, I e why I'm still single. Now I mean more so like because when, niggas is afraid of that. Yeah, a lot of them are for sure. Even yeah. when I, I feel like since I've met people, the people that I've met since then, um, it's just been 
dead silence, nothing. Once I start asking those questions, right? Yeah. It's and all plus, fun until because then. Yeah, go ahead. Go I was ahead, gonna say go people ahead. know a lot about what you went through too, so guys kind of have to know. Like I shouldn't be fucking around because. She's got kids mm-hmm. and she already has real. been through a lot with that's her real. ex and I don't want to cause any more damage. Yeah, right, or real. not? Or, or people think that you just want to be uh, in a relationship and I don't. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. like, I really have to get to know you. I don't know who you are. Right. Damn, they just right. be trying to jump in relationships? Or they I, mean, think she I, I, I have experienced they, that since then. Like people yeah. want to get serious and I'm like, I don't know who you are. Like I've been through a lot. <laughs> right, like, like, who, are you? <laughs> who are you really? <laughs> Yo, I feel like it takes some time like, I don't know. I'm like one year, not enough time. No, two years, not enough time. No. It damn, gotta be five. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. may not be enough for time. me to really be like. I think maybe I'm comfortable with like four. If we down for four years, then okay, you sticking around. Like you, you know a little bit. You know more about me. We fully don't even know each other after a year. Like that's my thing. So. Have you been with anybody for four years? Nah, hell no, not yet. <laughs> Where did you come up with that? Number? I was I'm just say. saying. Like I feel like that's a <laughs> at least five years is a good amount of time to be like yo. I've been with this person for five years. I fully trust them type shit. Like, I can see myself with them. But after, like, you got to, like you saying, people just trying to jump into it really quick. Like, after, like, a certain type of months, it's like, yo, I just want to be in a relationship with you. Mm. Like, yo, hold on, hold but on. people know how to pretend. It doesn't matter if it's five Facts. years or 55 and years. And that's the scary part. But you can't dodge that. Like, yeah, you that's really. just something that you yeah. just going to have to go through because you can't, yeah. if you walk around like that all the time, you dead not yeah, never. Or, or you just have to, you, or you have to trust <laughs> your, you know, Red or you have to trust your intuition. You, know. you have to trust your intuition. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, sometimes you, you can meet somebody and be like, it could feel like an instant connection. Yeah. Yeah. And it could be, could. A, it could be a fake one or it could be a real one, mm-hmm. you know? And you got to filter it out. Yeah. And, I'm that, just, and that happens with friendships too. Like L'Oreal instantly felt a connection to me. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love and then, you know, then, then we went together. Like, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Cause let's be real, Algie. We men, alcoholics. Even men have motivations when it comes to befriending you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas just want to hit. <laughs> what? You? No, I said a lot of niggas want to hit. I was like, wait a minute here. Yeah. Look, look it's not, and it's not a bad thing because as men, niggas are, we're naturally hunters. You know what I'm saying? We actually go out and get our point. But what she's saying, like, like guys even. trying to become your friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I know. He was like, I just want to hit. Oh, no, no, hell no. Hell no, we finna get out of here, bro. Yo. I was like, you know, I'm a tenderoni. No, 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 no. As far as for the women, as far as because the the truth about a roni, I was like, well, that was blunt. (laughs) I saw that going left. I I was trying to save you. I was like, that's the word. I know. I said she missed platonic. Platonic. I didn't hear that. I was lost. My makeup. What I was trying to say (laughs) is that I'm sure a guy is trying to befriend you. And you said because they trying to hit. I was like, damn, yeah. Frank Ocean. I like, said. Who else? <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah, the same thing. Yeah, a lot of people do. That's one thing that I really, mm-hmm. I mean, I got this, I got good discernment. I just say that I based that on the way, well, I, I credit that to the way I was brought up. <laughs> But um, a lot of times guys, I'm, I'm a good person too So a lot of times It, 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 it messes with me too it Like hangers me. on yeah. They call them Like guys who just like Kind of hang yeah. around And try to get the scraps That you know But that's when you gotta Look at your dogs And just see like Okay Like what is he doing Besides for me, You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. When he's around me Like what is he doing For himself right. then, Okay What is he doing To help the ship flow Because I look at it like I'm not the end all be all for everybody on my team, but I'm just the one that helps push the ship. You feel right. me? So if I can help push the ship, you just gotta man your weight. You feel me? And it's whatever you're doing. And if you can do that, then mm-hmm. character good, you good. And it's like if both of y'all is popping and doing what y'all supposed to be doing, yeah. it's better. Like Way better. instead what? of like, hey, always with you. Like, oh, y'all could come with me. Y'all could come with me. Like, yeah, don't no real one want to sit there and be. As far as for me, like. I feel like don't know solid nigga want to sit there and have his home be the one always paying for his homies and like yo like it's cool when you got it to do it but yeah. you want your homies to be up too like right, right. yeah after a while it's like dude I'm gonna go broke trying right. to right. <laughs> handle all this shit right. like you dating that nigga yeah. <laughs> like on insecure she you need some bread you need some bread we're not dating <laughs> we're not dating she's like you're taking me on a shopping spree she's like bitch we're not dating <laughs> like no do you feel like there's any girls that you used to date that are the one, like somebody that's the one who got away. Nah. <laughs> Dang. Well, sums that up. Nah. So, what's like, the longest relationship you've been in? Um, wasn't four years. Wasn't yeah, four. less than four years for real. Uh, damn. 
I ain't even been in no lengthy relationship. Well, anybody, have say. you ever been in love? Uh, uh, I can say yeah, yeah. We can't listen yeah, to hey, I'm gonna keep it a thought no I got somebody in my life right now that I feel like that I really mm-hmm. care genuinely about. Mm-hmm. And we've been talking for a good minute, but I still, I'm still like, in my mind, I, got, I, I just got trust issues, bro. I got problems. Mm-hmm. Like, I needed to be down for like four or five years, like I'm saying. Like, so for me to know, because I just know where I want to go in life, and I just got to make sure everything around me is. At one, on one accord you feel okay. me and that's not saying that I don't trust her but I just gotta be sure cause I always no. have this thing like our biggest fear is our biggest obstacle and that fear is gonna show up whether you Damn, know that person yeah. 5 years or 20 years Straight up. that obstacle was gonna show up in the person that you trust the most facts mm-hmm. cause how I don't do, know if it's, it's just it's like time. how do you shield yourself from that and then mm-hmm. and, and live a full life and at some point you have to be open yeah I think it's like I seen that y'all seen that clip of Will Smith and he was like just commit mm-hmm. commit <laughs> like yeah, I like I that that's a real talk mm-hmm. like that's you're, your not, you're gonna member, get right? hurt yo I really think so for real that's crazy <laughs> I've been saying that forever bro what's up <laughs> bro <laughs> last no, name Smith but that's not a common name I think right. that's real though like, <laughs> no one has that name you gotta go through it it's life bro you're gonna get hurt you gotta yeah, try true. it out just so you can know what not to, what not to do next time so mm-hmm. I, I, I mm-hmm. agree with you on that wait do you tell the person that you're with that you love them uh on occasion yeah oh, on occasion oh, so who you said it first because that's real though yeah. like if I got love for you I'm not gonna be like nah I ain't gonna say love nah at first I was love. like nah cause you know you can't say that too early bro like right. Right, right, right. <laughs> and then when I first said it wasn't even in the way it was like I love you you said it first nah 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 nah, nah, nah. I ain't right. say it ever. come on man. Uh, so, what? so what's, what's wrong, wrong with that, that? Nah, nah because I'm, that's the type of person I am I'm so not she I'm said stubborn bro I'm not gonna say it first cause people always say it really so what do you say people always say the type of person they are but then certain people People bring certain things out of them. That's so, it. Like, no, that's like, true, and, too. And, and, and it's not the type of person you are. It's just that person that bring it out of you. Mm, so she said, I yeah. love you. And what did you say? I, the first time, I didn't say nothing. You didn't say nothing? nothing? No. You just hung up? <laughs> no, I mean, it's in it's person. Like so it's like, I love you. I'm like, yo. Like, that's oh, even that's worse. Even that's yeah. even... I appreciate it. it. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to say I she love you if I don't you. mean it. That's one thing I don't do. So what did you? how did you respond? I appreciate Can it. Can we yeah. say that? Why? Yeah, thank you. Let's role yeah, play. Let's role play. Why? You should have said why. That before, though, Angela, yeah. huh? you say it. Okay. Role play. <clears throat> Algie, I love you. Oh, he, you better not tell her word. if you ain't tell your girl. He's going to say, I appreciate it. I said word. <laughs> word. word. <laughs> Pass me my do-rag. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that Yo, shower bro, off. At the same Turn the time, shower I explain, off. I explain oh, why I don't say it. And then okay. she realizes that I'm not finna just be out here like, because that comes with a lot. No matter what, even if you tell your dog, like, yo, my nigga, I love you, like... Your dog? Yeah, like, like my homie, like... No, I don't know. Like, 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 but I got genuine love for my homies that I don't have for everybody, so I'm not going to tell everybody I love you. Mm. So with a girl, it's even deeper. Like, when you say them words, my nigga, like... I feel like when you say them words, <laughs> well, you in You're there. an actor, though. Yeah, but I can't do that. That's so you know, hey, people always that's say that. So, oh, that you so evil. That's foul, right? You are an actor. You act, act, just act. You ain't shit. I Damn. love you too, baby. I love you too. Right. <laughs> no, no. I believe that. No. Do you really love me? No. Yeah. <laughs> so wait. So she was like, okay. So how did she react when you were just like, I appreciate it? Um, Word. of course she want me to say it, but I wasn't saying it. Damn. Yeah. How long did it take you to say it? Yeah, to hold his breath. That took three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it took me enough. It took me as long enough to figure out in my head and in my heart like how much I really rock with her. Mm-hmm. And then when I figured that out, then I'm like, all right, I got love for you. I'm not gonna say I don't. Like, you so you said I got love for you or I love you because those are two. different I said things. that first. I said yeah. I got love for oh you my first. God. Yeah, yeah. Oh it's just like quit playing. That's quit like playing. a DMX. No, no. When she's <laughs> forty, that's gonna come back up in the therapist. But y'all room. gotta understand, <laughs> gonna... like as as men, we can't just be running around saying that. Like if we don't, no, you don't really have to run around saying it. It's like, how do you genuinely feel about her? And why is it that she loves yeah, you? What have you done? And why don't you love her back? Why? Why is it? Oh, you're fighting it. Okay. I was. Yeah. You ever walk by somebody in the street and think, "Damn, sis, you smell good." Well, scents from Gucci, Prada, Dolce & Gabbana, they're great, but they're so expensive. But Scentbird.com keeps you smelling good month after month without breaking your budget. Scentbird is a luxury perfume subscription service with 450 designer brands that you choose from every month, like Prada, Gucci, Kate Spade, Nest, and more. It's kind of like a monthly scent adventure. Choose a perfume that sends you a 30-day supply with free shipping, and you can skip the department store and pushy salespeople. A 30-day supply also means you won't end up buying a huge bottle that sits on your shelf for years. I have some perfume that I am probably never, ever going to finish. 
Try exactly the brands that you want without having to be married to one forever. I have my scent birds, and what else I love about it is it's great to travel with. I'm actually traveling all week, and thanks to Scentbird, I have all different scents that I can bring with me, and I don't have to check my bag. That's why I always use Scentbird.com. With this exclusive offer, you'll get 50% off your first month today. That's only $7.50 for your first perfume. That's $7.50. Go to S-C-E-N-T-B-I-R-D.com. That's S-C-E-N-T-Bird.com slash service and use my code service for 50% off your first month. Scentbird.com slash service. Sign on. Smell amazing. What's so wrong with showing emotion right. and expressing it? My thing is like this. In my psyche, and it's kind of tripped out, but in my psyche, I'm like, yo, I don't want to, like I put my work super first. You feel what I'm saying? I put my work all the way first and I try to run away from even feeling emotions toward women. And that's a problem though because I did that for a long time just not trying to get in too deep. When it's like, bro, you just gotta live life. And that's what I realized. Like, if you rock with somebody, you rock with them. If it grows into something, it grows. But I can't sit here and be like, nah, nah, I don't wanna engage with you because I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? But like, like, that's what how happened it was. to make you like this? Cause yeah. you're like super, like, Guard up and everything. Like, did you like well, get it's it's a, a it's terrible it's heartbreak? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not gonna uh, hurt you. You know what I think it is? I think it's just protect. I know when I love, I love hard. And so mm. it's protecting myself and it's also mm. protecting her as well. Like, protecting a woman I know that a lot of times I'm not going to give you the attention that you always want up front because I'm going to be focused on my, my stuff and I'm going to let you know this comes first in my life and a lot of women can't handle that Yeah. and so I don't just be like, I keep myself guarded to protect others pretty much right. if that makes any sense are you possessive? Like, yeah <laughs> he said that yeah, fast shit. Yeah, I don't love I you, but I'm that. possessive of you. <laughs> he like I'm protecting hey, yeah, you. I'm like, oh, that's yeah, that's that's you know, before I, I said I love you, I'm like, bro, you ain't. I talked to a close friend. I, I talked nah, to a close friend. You ain't going nowhere either. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't love you, bitch. You better stay home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, I, no I don't know if this is if this is a male thing but I talked to a close friend today and he said the moment a woman starts to really love me I start disliking her wow because we because uh, what is that about guys it's scary for niggas okay. it is like once a woman says I love you you just know like when you hear them words it's like yo like damn like she really in there you feel what I'm because saying I don't like, want to hurt her I mean, like, it's like what is the balance you know what I mean if a woman just if, if she just slept with you off of a physicality then mm-hmm. she's a hoe if she has emotions because see that's I won't say that, that I is, used to but I won't say well, that well if no that's more. what's within her is to love someone that she's given herself to mm-hmm. and it's like I don't know if I can tell her that but it's like so it's like, well, you know, what do you do? Right. Yeah, no Because you can't be emotional. You can't be emotional. Because then it's like this clingy then, ass Then bitch. he's going to stop liking you. Yeah. And then, the, you know, and then it's like, if I just like say whatever, whatever. I'm going to just fuck, then you're a hoe. Then you're like a hoe. she's saying you basically know, like, where's it's, the It's no win. Medium. It's like, I think you know, a lot of men just don't know what they want. I think that's I mean? the point is people don't know who they are. Yeah, no, that's people true. in general yeah. don't know who they, they are. Exactly. They don't know who they are. Exactly. And to be honest, when niggas want to hit, like, let me, I'm just keep it all the way a thousand. Yeah. It, is we what, heard. It, it, it is weird. what it is. So you said, <laughs> wait, they do? How you know? Yo. <laughs> For real? No, but that's just Don't being honest. But it has to, but it, but it's nothing wrong with that initial thought because mm-hmm. we're all humans. We're sexual beings. So yeah, I want to hit, but mm-hmm. it's going to take you to be like, Nah, nigga, you not hitting yet. Like you gonna have to get to know, and then that's when the nigga decides. Okay, wow, like nah, that's not true. Because for me, wait, it's true. Well, some guys you could wait mad long, have sex with the guy. I'm and not then, doing that. Trust me, I I had to <laughs> talk to wait? one you of just my homegirls. Just to hold on. Smack. Smack. To, I mean, yeah. Smack. 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 Yeah, oh, I knew you was a little possessive, little monster. She's like, that's why I keep it because I'm like, so smack. No, no, but to to have sex, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not finna sit around and just play a game to wait to have sex. It's too much sex out here to just be playing games and waiting. Like, well, how's it? But what I'm saying is, like, isn't that different for women though? Because it's hard for us to just go and lay down with someone, you know, no, off of true. a whim, internal, without yeah. without us, without at least the idea or the perception or feeling like we're going to go somewhere. Well, I mean, it's very I mean, majority it of y'all. Nowadays. Now, there's a lot of y'all out here that don't care either. You That's feel me? True. So I think it just depends on the woman. I, I don't think I don't think there's no one that doesn't care. It's like we've learned to we have tried to adjust and adapt to the culture that has been presented to us mm. to protect ourselves. Nah, a couple mm. bitches don't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah nah, nah. <laughs> Come with you just oh, out oh, here, like some, straight up. Some girls want to be like, I fucked algae, but that okay, facts, well, okay. but that's real too. I though. mean, like, listen, when you when you when you look at these documentaries of Elvis, women are like, I slept with Elvis, I right. slept with him, and they're so excited. Listen, we've like, had yo, guests. so excited. <laughs> yo, be quiet. No, it's, like, it's like we've had what? guests that said that they've had guys lined up out 
the door to be next. Like we, there's a judgment free zone here. Oh. You know, some women are just well, like to have sex. Porn star, that, but that's what fairness. I'm saying. But some people yeah. like to have it's her sex. Job. It just that's <laughs> what it is. Sure you're right. Though. Some people like to have sex. I, I think everyone. Once you learn to have good sex, everybody likes having sex. Right. Mm-hmm. And let's be clear. Like, yeah. there's certain people that you connect with physically, and some people you don't. Yeah. And that's another yeah. thing because there's yeah. some guys like. I'm sure all the ladies in here, we can say we've had sex with certain guys that every time has been amazing. But that don't mean that's the person you were in love with the most. Mm-hmm. It's just that's a what's crazy. So the nigga thing. think he doing the job. Just mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, yeah, the best. Not <laughs> like, I don't even like this nigga for real. No, he would, he <laughs> might really be the best at sex, but not like the best it's more to it, yeah. person right. in it's my life. It. Usually right. he's broke. <laughs> Right, Those man. guys are really great at We're working just on like sex. a real big piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I gotta have something going for me. Yeah, but, or a real big piece of shit. You know what I mean? Like somebody that's a real big piece of shit, how they make up for it. Yeah. Could be right. with either money, sex, something. You know what I mean? They guys who treat you like shit are usually very good in bed. Very, extremely, man, amazingly, fantastically good. Uh, <laughs> just amazingly, beautifully, uh, fantastically good. And they treat enough. you like shit. So you're like, fuck it. I'll fuck with the mediocre nigga yeah. just because he treats me better <laughs> he treats me better but. we gotta do better man do better. how did you learn how to have sex having sex but I mean like the first time how did you know what to do was it from watching like porn I mean, my clip? first time was a little different I had sex the first and it's sad really sad uh-huh. I don't condone this but I had sex for the first time when I was like 9 or 10 years old Mm-mm-mm. so it was different like babysitter and I wish I wouldn't have, nah just a girl that lives in my neighborhood mm-hmm. but she was out there though she was a couple years older than me Oh. And we used to come home from school at the same time. I'm and my boss just wasn't at home that day. And I went over her crib and it, you got it popping. I wish I would have waited. You got it popping. Sure. Yeah, but you're not Who initiated able to come, it? right? Like, Who you're initiated at nine, that? you can come? I, I, I was marching. Already? My soldiers at 10. Yeah, my soldiers was marching. So you were already, were you masturbating already? I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh Matter of fact, and she God, was the one telling me, like, 10, yo, like, try that. like this. Like, she was like, she was out there. Yo, am I there. bugging? I didn't know that boys could come that early. They could come it that depends early. On the, it depends on the dude, though. I, they be I having guess. wet dreams and stuff. Yeah, all that. But dude, that's like in any period. Little... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, now it, you're a man. No, 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 their first no, no. wet dream is, is their period. Like, because then they come. They're no, like, you know, oh, I, I'm a I, man. I, I have, <laughs> Do you I, remember your first wet oh dream? Did you, know, did you know what was going on? <laughs> no, what? He's like, no, I didn't. Know. No, like, I mean the dream lets you know what's going on, but nah, you think you really in there? You think you wet the bed? Like, yo, like. Then you wake up like, yo, I wasn't having sex. <laughs> but no, did you I, know no. what cum was? Like, did you know what that was? Yeah, I always knew what it was. I was a little promiscuous as a little kid, though, man. Damn, like, as a kid? Yeah, I was bad. She said, my son is 10. I was good, but I was, I was had a wondrous mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, the only reason I said it is because I, I really protect my children. But, you know, yeah. I was raised, like, in the South, and we were just... We just had access to a lot, you know? Yeah. So I remember, like, I I, uh, I had my first orgasm as a very young age for mm. a girl, mm. but I didn't know what it was. How old were you at a young age? Like, it's first grade. And you had an wow. orgasm? you had an orgasm yeah. in the first... What were you doing? Masturbating? I, I was masturbating. Hey, she magical. No, not even like that. No, no, no. I was, I was, I had learned because I had, I had to uh, watch, I walked in on some porn. Mm-hmm. And I remember I told my great aunt. walked in on some porn. Oh, I, what was like, going on like, here? It, it was like. Yo, you above, you, no, no, you no, ain't no. average first grade. Yo, no. she beat you. Yeah, I tell like, you. Yo. What I'm saying is like, but, but we were like left alone and like, you know, you know, I, I was raised around a lot of boys. So they would mm. always be watching porn or yeah. magazines. Mm. So I remember like, just like, what is that about? And, mm-hmm. and, and after doing it so long, one night I started shivering and I just remember like because we was raised we were raised in church like praying like God please never never let that happen again I feel like I did something wrong but it Yo, felt so you good. know what's so crazy I, just, I didn't know yeah. what, I don't even she remember feeling scared, good probably. I just didn't know what it was I was like what the fuck was and that and when did you find out what it was in my teens <laughs> she thought it was the Holy like, Spirit yeah, she thought it was the Holy Spirit <laughs> That's why she started praying like, Lord, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, what was that? I'll never touch myself again like that. <laughs> oh, so you didn't do it anymore spirit. after that? Well, no, I didn't do it anymore after that. But I, but as I when I 13, then I began to do it again. Like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. try this again. But I remember, like, you know, because I, I was raised around all guys, all boys, and then their friends, and somebody was still some tape from a parent and put it in the VCR. Right. I remember walking in one day and was like, oh, shit. Yeah, and I remember my my elderly aunt. I told her that night what I saw, and she was like, 
she just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> she was like, tell me again what you saw. <laughs> and she so, was joking. Yeah. See, now you but, think about that. Now you think about Aldi and how old he was when he first had sex and you think about your sons, right? But like, so I, do I you tell them, them differently. Do you, you know tell know I mean? them, like, what you do you mean? talk about sex? Like, does anybody I, like, talk to you about because sex? Because thing. I'm My in control. Mom, I had a well, good family. Go ahead, go ahead. I feel like ahead. I'm in control of everything they do. Like, yeah. you know, I, I, um, I, I don't, I'm not trying to shield them from anything, but, at, but to a certain age, you know what I mean? And so I remember last year talking to another parent and her son came home I was like mom I had a boner I was like oh, he said the word boner and she was like I don't even know where we got that from so I it Look, made me ask a question real, to my son you know my mama and my dad did a great job of telling me what to do what not to do keeping it all the way a thousand with me let me know what sex was but my mama was it, and she's like a spiritual warrior so mm-hmm. like even still like she goes hard but back then she was really on it and so I don't, but there's still times where she could teach me everything I, I need to hear, but I'm still going to go right. and try for myself. So I don't think you can really shield, especially with well, boys. Well, not even shield. It's like I haven't, I feel like I've been in control of their exposure to that. Mm, See, my that's parents good being though, yeah. at work, there was no control of my exposure. Right, like had right. my mom been home, maybe I wouldn't have walked in right. on, you know, guys like, oh my God, look at this tape or yeah, look at these right. magazines. That's so true. I feel like I've been in control of that you aspect You control of that, it. yeah, exactly. But they got That's phones, important. tablets, Which you is can crazy. see yeah. anything on anything. And mostly it's the friends that be like, yep. look at this. Yep. Right? Let That's me tell true. you something. These little kids is sending each other new pictures. Uh-huh. Like, young little kids, because it happened in my niece's school. And one of the kids got expelled because he forwarded one of the pictures that the little girl gave oh, and no. she was like I saw the picture I said no no you did not in middle school this is some, when she was in middle school yes mm. and this is like because these are issues that we had growing up no we didn't have well, where we could send text messages <laughs> to each other and take yeah. pictures on our phone and all that first of all yeah, you could take nah. the phone away like at, you know what I mean yeah, that's something like that time, yeah. now it don't matter they got laptops they use it for school they all gonna night, be able to yeah. DM but whatever. like but, but like the thing about it is like sometimes like now we you can't control that but you can control like you can see you know what I mean you can share the same iCloud and turn their phones off mm. see exactly who's calling see exactly exactly what they're looking up so mm. you you just have to be a little bit more proactive and your girl so you can do that, do that to you your girl yeah. can do that to you also yeah. Algie just yeah. so you know <laughs> he's like you can do that hey figure out how to do that we're gonna do that later <laughs> <laughs> has she ever looked through your phone uh, not not to my knowledge have nah. you ever looked through her phone not to my not, not to your knowledge no. You know if you have or not, Algie. Like one night. <laughs> hey, look. Look. <laughs> yes, you did. I'm going to just say this, and I heard it said once before, like, that ain't no, that ain't nothing a nigga need to be proud of. Like, oh, yeah, I love this shorty phone. But, hey, look. Guys, I need to know what's happening. Yes, so you did do it. I did it. I That's ain't admit that it was. A, I, I ain't admit that it was the right thing to do. It's some punk shit, but, hey, look. No, niggas I do it more than what, what, made, you, what made you do that? Nigga was, hey, look, I need to know, like. But I'm saying, did something happen, or did you just do it out of nowhere? Because you, uh, yeah, yeah, something happened, something happened, something happened. But it didn't want that big of a deal. What happened? Mm-hmm. But but it made you raise an eyebrow. It made me raise an eyebrow, and I'm glad I raised the eyebrow because then I figured out what I needed to know. It was some shit up in there. Hey, look, let me just say I figured out. What yeah. I needed to know, and then yeah. Uh-huh. Nah, and, and see, no, guys are real funny because they'll do it and you won't know. And then they'll fucking use the shit against you. <laughs> but you be like, how the fuck is this? You be like, this nigga must be a psychic. You talking to your friends. See, that's shit. you. Yeah, but for me, what happened to me yeah. twice, they let me know right away. See, nah. Right away. And then I'd be like, well, you shouldn't have been in my phone. Ooh, let them know. I might have found out a whole year later before I Ew, even know. They, Oh, yeah, he yeah, was, he he was had, swiping with him. Yeah. Like, he wasn't I can't shit. hold it that long. Arrows, like. He wasn't shit. It couldn't Damn. be me. It's awful. Well, LG has to wrap it up that. and get going because he has a lot going know. on because of the hate you give. Yeah. You know, coming in there. Oh, an, I know. <laughs> <laughs> they said you have, <laughs> they said you have <laughs> other things to do. So. Yeah, damn, I don't even want to leave. We don't, oh, want, you we don't want you to. Yeah, let's go through your phone and see. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you saw his face? You know how to get right? You know situations where I'll grab a guy's phone and, and you know platonic I'm like what's your password and immediately they clench up right <laughs> Yo. it doesn't like giving you the password because this is the thing even the, I feel like the littlest thing may trigger something no but it y'all. can be a platonic so why are you going uh, through people's phones I can no, take but, his phone it's like, what's your if password I'm just saying, he clenches like, up <laughs> not you but, <laughs> I, mean, I thought but, I was going to say you know. damn bro <laughs> see no but I mean it's real though because we just I think I just know like 
how sensitive <laughs> women, or at least the women that I deal with, are the women that I deal with is. So it's like you appear sensitive. I'm not gonna. As well. yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, it's real. I ain't gonna lie. I am. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But if I'm in a DM and somebody come in my DM and they talking to me and I'm not engaging it super far, but I'm like, yo, what's up? Appreciate you, blase blase. And y'all see that y'all not gonna like that. You feel me? So I'm just like, yo, yeah, to, to protect the to protect the everything going on, just nah, just nah. Shit. What you DMing bitches for? I know. So why you even talking <laughs> you know about what? I, y'all I, I, heard me I, say I, I, I when she like DM me no. and I respond, <laughs> what you you just trying to what you DM <laughs> like I engaged, like I initiated or something. But I know uh, how to get you to leave. Oh. We gotta tell him we love him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't gonna leave then. I'm we gonna love you like, guys. I'm gonna just like, gotta go. Right, for sure, oh, for sure, for, <laughs> for sure. sure. Yeah, I'm gonna stick around and see if you really do. I got love for y'all. Was it a big love. deal when you told her you loved her? In my for mind, it was a big but deal. But for her, yeah. was it like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You can't just be doing that because was it it's a huge sex? deal. No. That's what I thought too. Because right. you can't just, that's cheating. That's cheating. <laughs> Especially if you laying it down for sure, for sure. You can't just be like, I love you. And she's gonna go crazy. <laughs> This nigga love you for real. <laughs> nah, you can't be for cheating real. like that. What uh, made you decide it? To uh, say it? Like I said, I just wasn't like, I felt it. And so I'm like, yo, like, I, I fucks with you. Like, love you. That's cute. Well, I can't Aww. wait to see you y'all. Know, as long as you're true to yourself and that's what you really <laughs> yeah. felt and you didn't say it before you felt it, then yeah. that's, that's real. That's all you can be. I just can't be out here playing, man. Mm-hmm, you like, sure I can. Emotions are too serious. Women are too serious. Plus, you're an artist. I feel like artists are more in touch with their emotions anyway. Yeah. See, the thing, I be trying to run from my emotions, but I have to be in touch with them yeah. for what I do, which is real. But I be we, trying to run from them. <laughs> but like, you also like side chicks, according to your music, so, yeah. you know. Uh-oh. Sidelines. Uh-huh. <laughs> according to what? what? Sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> Can nah, you love your side nah, chick nah, is the question. Nah, nah. I don't, I'm straight on it. I'm good. When I got something, I ain't trying to mess it up. That's how I feel. <laughs> He's like, not enough wine in the world. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, when can we expect new music? Uh, new music, the album ATLA is coming out after the Hate You Give drops. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to put a date on it because they're going to be mad at me if they don't come out on that date. But definitely winter time. Uh, to give a little brief preview on ATLA, the album, when I was, I was at the end of 2015, I was living in Atlanta. I went from Atlanta, gave myself 30 days to go out to LA to make something happen. I was like, yo, if nothing don't happen these 30 days, I just go back to the crib. But it was at a point where I was like, I feel like I want to be a little further in my acting, the music. I want to just be further. And Atlanta wasn't the time for me right now. So I went out to L.A. The homegirl let me sleep on her couch. And I was like struggling to catch money for Ubers, trying to get money to eat. Just the L.A. hustle, the grind. By the end of that 30 days, I ended up booking a new edition. And I ain't been able to leave L.A. ever since. Wow. So the album is just like uh, bringing you into my life a little bit. So that could, that's been coming out soon. ATLA? ATLA. That's Atlanta such to L.A. a dope story. Yeah. I like that Give story. yourself hey, 30 friends. days. <laughs> look, everybody keeps saying that. we all moving to L.A. 30 for 30 days. days. I'm like, look, yeah. God <laughs> worked for me in a different way, bro. I, I can't feel like that's not enough yeah. time, but you know. It's really not. That's yeah. That's how I know, though. When I feel something, when I feel a push, it's the creator because it's like he was pushing me to go out there mm-hmm. and everything met me. So it, you might not feel the same way. You might feel like, no, nah, I need to just I need 45 chill here. days. Yeah, like it depends. <laughs> <laughs> what you feel? 145 <laughs> days. <laughs> Some niggas need 10 more years. days. <laughs> that should have been sad day 31. Like, 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 go 30 days, oh, 10 more days, 10 more days. Yeah, 10 more days. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Why are you not answering? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Aldi Smith, thank you so much. Make sure y'all check out the Hate You Give ATLA coming soon. We can't tell you a date. And um, <laughs> we love you. And oh, I love y'all. Don't oh! I do, though. I feel good vibes here. My spirit feels good. Yay! <laughs> on the, we hit it on the first night. <laughs> what I'm talking about. He ain't here holding his breath. A lot of niggas trying to hit. Whoa, 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 whoa my whoa. G, whoa. <laughs> I was like, wow. That this was my favorite part. part. This nigga is honest. <laughs> no, no. That's definitely the promo. <laughs> oh, yo, <whoa>. Lip service. <laughs>